Campaigning begins for the April 3rd by-election. Candidates and supporters will be busy reaching out to voters and pitching their policies. Kim Min-ji has the full story. The race is on for the April 3rd by-election with the official campaigning period kicking off on Thursday. For the next 13 days, candidates will be able to reach out to voters and sell their policy pledges by putting up banners in their districts or using loudspeakers, emails and social networking services. This time, two parliamentary seats are up for grabs. They are the districts of Changwon Songsan and Tongyang Kosong, both in Gyeongsang Namda province. The seat for Changwon was left vacant following the suicide of Noah Chan of the Minor Justice Party last year. And the Tongyang seat is empty after Lee Kun Hyun of the main opposition Liberty Korea Party was convicted for violating the political funds law. Although it's only two seats, it will serve as a limits test to see public sentiment towards the political parties in the southeastern province ahead of the general elections next year. Liberal politicians have received firm support in Changwon, while conservatives have a stronger foothold in Tongyang. A recent poll shows that out of seven contenders, Kang gi yoon a former lawmaker running on the Liberty Korea Party ticket, and Yeo young an official within the Justice Party, are neck and neck in the race for the Changwon district. For the Tongyang constituency, Liberty Korea Party contender and former chief prosecutor Chum jung sik has a comfortable lead in a three-way battle. The Liberty Korea Party and Justice Party have rolled up their sleeves to try to retain the seats that they initially held, while the ruling Democratic Party is also seeking to increase its number of parliamentary seats in the district, highlighting its drive to boost the regional economy. Whoever wins the by-elections will serve for about a year, as their term will only last for the next general election, which will take place in April 2020. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.